Welcome to Exchange Server Administration Anti-Malware Setting In this video we will disable and enable the anti-malware scanning via script and also we will apply the custom filters on malware detection under the default malware filter settings So let's move to the server and get started So right now we are on our Exchange Server that is EX02 2019 and if we go to the Exchange Admin Center inside the protection you have a malware filter here that is enabled by default and the priority is lowest so if we go to the exchange management shell and type the command let get transport agent you can see the malware agent that is enabled you can see it is true and the priority is 5 and if we go to the C drive inside the program files Microsoft exchange server v15 and scripts here we have the scripts to enable and disable the anti-malware scanning you can see the disable anti-malware scanning let's try to disable the anti-malware scanning first and I will try to navigate to the script folder and let's try to disable the anti-malware scanning so I will run the script disable anti-malware scanning and will hit enter so it's asking to restart the MS Exchange Transport Service it is successfully disabled but it want to restart the service so let's quickly restart the Exchange Transport Service so it has been restarted now and if I run the commandlet once again you can see the malware agent is now false that means it is disabled so in order to enable that we have to run the script enable anti-malware scanning.ps1 and checking for the engine updates Again, we have to restart the service. So let me quickly restart the service. That is MS Exchange Transport. And let's try to run the commandlet once again. And now you can see the malware agent is true. That is enabled. So this is how you can enable and disable your anti-malware scanning. And if we edit the setting of malware filter, that is the default setting. Let me edit it. And if we go to the setting option, malware detection response delete the entire message is selected so we want to select the third option like delete all attachment and use the custom alert let me select that and here you have to put the custom notification text so let me put the text here the attachment has been deleted because it contains malware contact your administrator under the notification we will select the notify the external and internal senders both notify the administrator so I will check this box and put the administrator email address that is administrator at techiecheck.live and same I will do for the external sender as well so this is set now if you want to set in a, as a custom notification you can select this and you can choose the from name from email address subject and the message for internal user and same way you can do that for the external user as well so let's disable this and configure these settings and let me click on save so now the setting has been saved I hope now you know how you can enable and disable the anti-malware scanning and how you can apply the malware filters so let's meet in the next video